Hi there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, why does my partner always try to change my viewpoint? So Andrew wrote me this, and I'll just read it to you here. Dear Cyber Sue, my partner and I disagree on many things, especially when it comes to how we communicate in our relationship. If I don't agree with everything she suggests, it becomes another long drawn out argument. We love each other, but after five years, it's taking a toll on me. Why is it always her way or the highway? Can we ever fix this issue? Well, the one thing, Andrew, that I would like to sort of stress to everybody who's watching this video right now is that it's really easy to come in there and, and just feel that we have the right to express what we think. The problem is in a relationship, especially in the very beginning, if you don't learn how to compromise and validate your partner's feelings, it can be a huge issue for the remainder of your time together. The thing that I always suggest to people is to pick your battles. You know, we all have times when we want our point to really get across because we feel very strongly about something. It could be something about the planet. It could be something about our family. Whatever it is, it's okay to express your opinion, but don't try to change everybody else around you to come to think like you. If we all thought the same way, life would be pretty boring. And the nice thing about having your own opinion and your own viewpoint, that's what makes you unique. You don't want to be on the same page with every single thing with every person in your life. You want to have a lot of commonalities with your partner, absolutely. But when it comes to wanting to control their every thought or opinion about whatever's going on that you're expressing, that's not fair to expect that. If you're not on the same page within most things in your partnership, you're always going to have unresolved challenges. And this isn't a way you want to live your life. You want to be able to decide when you're first meeting somebody that you have a lot of things that are good together. Be original, but don't expect everybody to understand everything about you. And it's one thing to express yourself, but it's another thing to get angry and argue about them not understanding your viewpoint and not going your way. That's where a lot of problems happen. And this is where people say, my partner's too controlling. I just can't be there anymore. I can't listen to this. I can't be in a relationship where we're constantly fighting about similar things over and over again. Over time, this puts you in opposite directions, which makes your relationship become unsalvageable sometimes. How do you make it work when you're always arguing because you're not agreeing on everything? You say you love each other, so let's talk about that. Why do you love each other? What is it about the two of you that connected you in the beginning? Is there maybe something going on that has changed? within the dynamics of your relationship. Is your girlfriend happy? Or has something shifted? Has something changed? Is something changed in her job? Is something changed with how she views herself? How she, who she hangs out with? What's going on with her? That's the first thing to look at because if she's always picking a fight about something, she might not be happy. And maybe this is something you need to sit down and talk to her about when you're not arguing. So if you have a good day and you're out with her somewhere, sit her down and just say, hey, what's going on? Are you okay? Is there anything I can help you with? Tell me, tell me what's happening. If she opens up and is honest with you that there is some things going on, well, then you'll have a little bit more understanding about why she might be this way. It doesn't make it okay you might have to seek some counseling to find out what's happening if she's not going to be open and honest with you. Because this is your life too, and you're in a partnership, which means a team. And if she's not being part of a team and wants it just to be her way, you know the old expression, there's no I in team. So she can't be living this way and expecting you to live her way. It's not fair at all. We can all get stuck in our own belief systems. 
which isn't really good because you don't want to end up being narrow-minded all the time because you're not fun to be around if you've only got one point of view all the time people aren't going to want to even have a conversation with you because you're not you're too rigid you're not being open to the to having a nice conversation where you banter back and forth it's your way or the highway so this is something that I understand Andrew why you're upset about it because it's not a good way to live with somebody if they can't be open and communicative in a in a constructive manner it makes it really hard to be around them. Another question I have for you, did something happen between you two that maybe she's holding a grudge about? Maybe something happened that she's lost trust in you or faith in you because of something that transpired. Maybe think about that. Maybe there is something that she's just angry and she's picking a fight because she's holding you hostage in a sense. But that's something that you could work on if you know what the actual answer is here. Don't engage when she argues with you. The best way to alleviate the height of the argument is to walk away from it. You don't walk away angry. You don't shout back. You just say, you know what, I'm just going to go for a little while because I just really don't want to argue today. Go out for a little while. Hopefully when you come back, she's not angrier. But even if she is, You've got to get to the bottom of what's happening here. You've got to talk to a counselor if she's not going to listen to anything. And if she doesn't want to go to a counselor, you go. Because if you're going to move on from your relationship or move forward in another direction, whatever you want to do, you might need some tools to work with to, to help you make that decision. So my last question to you would be, is there something that you could improve upon in your relationship? Like, really be honest here. Is there something that you're doing repetitively that's making her a little bit squirrely, you know, that she's frustrated with? And so if the argument's about the same thing over and over again, then you really have to look at that. Find out what the actual arguments are about. If they're about everything, that's a different story. If they're about a few things continually, see how you can improve upon that within your house. It might just be a couple of little things that you both have to change, you both have to alter. It's not a lot of work when you know what the problem is. The situation that happens in a lot of relationships, so we don't take the time to find out what the actual problem is. And in closing to your question today, Andrew, I would just suggest that you write down everything. It's sort of in like a letter and just expressing yourself on how you feel. And again, use the word I. I feel this way. I feel uncomfortable when this happens. I feel sad that this happens. I feel confused. I need to know, is everything okay with you? Is there something going on? Because I need to be able to be heard as well in this relationship. These kind of things, if you write it out, leave it a, a little note for her when you go to work or maybe when you go out for a couple hours in the evening somewhere, leave it with her for a few hours for her to see it. That might also help because if she knows you're not blaming her but you just want answers for yourself, that can really help too. You'll get to the bottom at the very least. And if she's just basically a controlling person and that's who she is, well, you'll find that out and decide what you want to do moving forward. But in the meantime, because you love each other, you've got five years together, just do everything you possibly can to get to the bottom of what's going on here. Thank you so much for your question today. Everybody who has not subscribed, I'd love it if you would do so. And if you have any show topics for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day.